land judging, the title doesn't inspire excitement, but like many experiences, it's more interesting when you actually participate. The state land judging contest for Mississippi was held in March. Farm Week's Jonathan Parrish reports. Future Farmers of America teams and 4-H groups from around the state came to Flora, Mississippi for the 2013 land judging competition. This educational event gave young people the opportunity to learn about soil production and conservation and use their skills to identify the versatility of the land. FFA and 4-H teams were asked to judge three sites. The student's job was to determine what was the best use for each site, such as farming, pasture, or home construction. Dr. Larry Oldham, an extension soil sciences professor, says a lot of thought was put into picking a site for the land judging contest, and the event turned out to be a great one. Uh, this site uh, was an outstanding pick by the folks who did that because it's a diversity of soils. It's an outstanding location logistically. Uh, we're located just outside Florida, Mississippi. The people here have been very good to work with and facilitating this contest and um, it's been a great experience uh, with the contest here this year. The event was held at the Monsanto Company and was conducted by the Madison County Soil and Water Conservation District. Joe Addy says the students got first-hand experience in the basic principles of soil and water conservation. Kids are learning those basic principles of soil science uh, and then on the other side of the contest is the, is the uh, treatment of the land once the science is determined uh, at that highest land use. Students who took part in the event learned valuable skills that could be applied in career fields such as environmental and agricultural management, natural resource conservation, or home building. Although not all the students will pursue a career in these fields, most agree that the principles learned at the land judging contest can be applied later in life. Well, I think it'll help me out l later in life. I don't want to pursue it as a career, but I mean, it's always good to know, well, um, if this piece of land that you have, what it's good for, if you can put a house on it, if you need to ra put cattle on it, if you need to use it um, with row crops, it's always a good thing to know what you can use it for. Top awards for the day went to Mantachee and Itawamba County from FFA, and the 4-H overall champion was Tate County. These teams will now advance to the national land judging competition in Oklahoma. From Flora, Mississippi, I'm Jonathan Parrish reporting. The National Land Judging Competition took place in early May in Oklahoma. Unfortunately, the Mississippi 4-H and FFA teams did not win, but there were extenuating circumstances. There was record cold weather, it was raining, and the windshield dropped below 20 degrees. When your hands are wet and numb, it's hard to judge soil properly. If you're interested in 4-H land judging, contact your county office of the Mississippi State University Extension Service.